Hi, I'm Dr Neha Aurora from Dr Aurora Surgery and in this video I will show you how to use the AirMid app and view your medical record. If you have not logged in before, please see our video titled How to Download, Register and Login. If you have logged in before, when you log in you will see this screen which is the home page. On the home page you will see Next Appointment. Here you will find details of the time and date of your next appointment. As the pandemic eases, we will make some nursing appointments available for online booking. Underneath here, you can see online consultations. Click start an online consultation to submit a consultation to the practice. There is a separate video dedicated to this titled how to do an online consultation. Then we have announcements, which will provide up to date information about coronavirus. Finally, we have shortcuts in case you wanted to add any quick shortcuts. There are a few pre-populated already. Just to add, if you ever need help, click on the three dots in the top right corner and then select help. This will take you to www.airmidcares.co.uk, which is a website made by Airmid for any FAQs. If you click on the menu, which is the three parallel lines in the top left corner, you will see the following options. The first option is home to go back to the home screen that we have just described. The second option is for notifications. Please note our surgery will continue to use text messages for updates rather than the app. However, we may use the notification function to inform you when blood test results or radiology results are ready to view. The third option is for messages. Our surgery has disabled this function, so please ignore it. The next option is appointments. Following this, we have medication requests. Here you can see any recent and past prescriptions sent. Please view our video dedicated to medication queries for further information. Then we have medical record. Here, you will be able to access your medical record securely. If we select Summary, we are taken to this page, which gives you a brief overview of your medical record. Across the bottom, you can see a number of icons. The first icon is the summary page we are on now. Notice there is a button called Add Data. Please note that any data you add to your medical record does not get sent to the surgery and is for your own benefit only. Please do not add data if you would like to notify us of any changes to your health. You will need to submit an online consultation for this. The second icon is for your full record. Here, information is shown in chronological order and you can scroll to view your record as required. For example, clicking on a medication will give you instructions on how to take the medication. The third icon is for allergies. This will give you a list of your up-to-date allergies. The next icon is for medication. This shows you any medications on repeat and any prescriptions that you may have had. The following icon is for documents. Our surgery does not make documents viewable at the moment, so you can ignore this one. The next icon is for vaccinations. This shows you your previous vaccinations. The final icon is for investigation results. Here you will see your blood test and scan results. As an example, if we click on this MRI knee, you can see it is reported as normal and no further action is required. If we go back to the menu, we can see that the next item is summary care record. Your summary care record is a condensed version of your medical record that contains key information about your health, such as allergies and medications. The information in your summary care record is taken from your GP record, but can be accessed by healthcare professionals in different care settings across the NHS. This is so they can provide you with better care if you use their services, for example, in an emergency or when the surgery is closed. If we return to the main menu, we can see that the next heading is Progress. In Progress, we can see trends of our recent investigation results. This can be a good visual representation of progress when it comes to things like blood pressure and weight. Next, we have Clinic Locator. 
You can use this to help you find NHS services nearby you, for example, if you are out of area. Following this, we have family. If you select give access, you can enter the details of a family member to enable them access to your records. This is helpful for those who support in care of a loved one. Of note, in settings, you can do things like enable Face ID, control your notifications and even import your health data from Apple if you have an Apple device. Thank you for watching this video.